Hello everybody and welcome to this late May edition of Testy Tuesday. And it really is late May because it's the last Tuesday in May, so that makes it late. Anyhow, hey, let's get on with it. Let's see how good your biblical knowledge is from your Sunday school days. And for those of you who are really being good, your days of reading your Bible for your devotions. I want to know, I want to know which Old Testament prophet was told by God, here, take this hot coal and suck on it. Well, he didn't quite put it that way, but that's essentially what he was told to do. Which Old Testament prophet was told to put a hot coal in his mouth? Ah! Well, here are your possible answers. Was it Isaiah? Was it Jeremiah? Was it Ezekiel? Or was it Obadiah? Say Obadiah ten times real fast. Obadiah, Obadiah. Okay. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Obadiah. The correct answer is, for all you Bible wizards, wizards, whatever you want to call yourself, Isaiah. Yep, Isaiah. It's in the call of Isaiah. It's our Old Testament reading for this coming Sunday, which is Trinity Sunday. Now, we all know that the word Trinity appears nowhere in the Bible. It is a totally fabricated Christian word in that, yeah, Trinity means three, but applied to uh, scriptures it's not in there anywhere but it's how we define how we get a handle on who god is father son spirit so that's what makes this day so important in the life of the church because it's kind of a bedrock on which we uh, place our faith but anyhow let's get to the older testament here and isaiah who is told by god well actually he's told by one of god's messengers called a seraph you know what a seraph is well if you do would you please call all the biblical scholars in the world and, and help them out because they can't figure it out either it's it's kind of a uh, a strange word in hebrew that is kind of untranslatable so seraph just like some of our other words is a a direct um trans alliteration uh, from the hebrew into the english all right seraph and seraphs is the plural in english but seraphim would be the plural if you stuck with the hebrew and there's all these seraphs and seraphim they're all around god isaiah has this uh, incredible vision of god and they have there's really weird creatures and there's a whole bunch that goes on in this passage but it comes down to this Isaiah can't bear to look at God. In fact, it says his train fills the temple, as we have from the um, Older Testament reading in King James Version. It's his robe. It's just so massive that when he looks up at, at God, he can't see him, which is a good thing. Because remember, if you see God, you die. And it's the seraph themselves, they have two of their six wings they put over their eyes not to look at God. But one of them takes a coal and puts it and gives it to Isaiah and says, touch this to your lips. Why? Because Isaiah, looking at God, says, hey, I'm so naughty. I, I'm so unclean. Why am I here in front of God? Because I'm going to die. That's what he's thinking. Nope. He, it, that might be what he's thinking, but God says, I am looking for someone to give a message to the people. Who am I going to send? And after the coal touches the lips of Isaiah, and he is purified, so to speak. He answers, and this is incredible because hardly anybody in the Bible, whether Old or New Testament, says this. He says, here I am. Send me. Whoa, that's pretty incredible. Especially since the people have been so rebellious. The five verses that come right before our text for this Sunday, or the five chapters, rather, um, Isaiah is just blasting the people for for being so unfaithful to, to Yahweh and, and not listening to him. And in fact, they, they just kind of goof off just like these guys right here. Look at them. You bunch of goof offs. Yeah, that's our new guardian livestock puppies. And I mean, you're ready to take them in and they go running in the opposite direction. And, you know, they just they're doing their own thing. And that's what Isaiah was telling the people. You're, you're doing your thing and not God's thing. You, and here's the really strange thing. You know the message that God gives to Isaiah to tell the people? He says this. Tell the people, I basically had it with you. Um, in fact, 
Isaiah here is going to say some things to you and you're just going to plug your ears up. You're just going to walk away in the other direction and that spells doom for you. What kind of a message is that? <laughs> and at the very end though, there is a little word of hope. There's a word of hope in which he starts talking about a remnant, a remnant that will be preserved and God's people will re be preserved through that remnant. But before we really get into that message of hope later on in Isaiah, there's quite a bit of chastising that goes on uh, through the prophet's words. So, well, again, you're still probably wondering, how is this a text for Trinity Sunday? Well, it's because I'm going to make you go back and read it. It's Isaiah, the sixth chapter, the first 13 verses. There are three words that are repeated one after the other. Boom, boom, boom that give it away as to why I believe the lectionary developers picked this particular um, pericope for us to read on Trinity Sunday. You will find it and you're gonna be singing it, I guarantee, when you're all done. God's blessings be with you and um, yeah, yeah, be like, be like them. See, now they're coming to me. That just doesn't really happen a whole lot. God's blessings be with you and enjoy your day.